What's up, Sir nerd? nerdlings? Do you nerd for spiders? Not those spiders. Marvel spiders. Do you nerd? Do you nerd for Spider Gwen and Spider Her? <laughs> hey, nerdlings! It's Jasmine from Nerdy Blush and Cosplays, and you're watching Do You Nerd? Hey, what's that? Let's take a look. It's time for a closer up. Spider ladies unite! Woo! Well, uh, we've got some Marvel Select figures we here. Do. Spider Woman, who uh, you're a little bit of a fan, and Spider Gwen, which eh, Woo! you might uh, be something hello. of a super fan. Hello there. <laughs> I have to say, what is up with the Marvel Select packaging? Why are these things so huge? I don't know. I've now, never figured that out. Once in a while, I think I've seen like the Incredible Hulk, and he takes up most of the packaging. It's like, oh, okay, I get it. Spider Gwen, not so much. Yeah, she's uh, she's not quite as big in there, and she's fighting the Iron Giant or something. Figures like this, like this kind of packaging, I really gotta say, this is why I'm glad you don't keep your stuff in uh, its package. Yeah. <laughs> because even if you hung this up on the wall, you'd be running into it all the time. Initially, it had it at 25 bucks, yep. and then it had it on sale for $20. And then it was half price sale items. I was about to say, I'm pretty sure you didn't pay no $20. Nope, for I paid things. 10 bucks a piece for them. <laughs> All right, well, who is first to come out of the box? Well, uh, let's save the best for last. All right. Injected with her scientist father's untested spider serum in her youth, Jessica Drew slept for years before she was awakened and recruited by the terrorist organization Hydra. Using her pheromones and bioelectric powers to act as their assassin, she was shown the error of her ways by S.H.I.E.L.D. director Nick Fury and became a costume crime fighter. Losing her powers, Jessica went to work for S.H.I.E.L.D., but a mission to infiltrate Hydra gave her more abilities than before, and she is currently a member of Captain America's Avengers, sculpted by Sam Greenwell. There is Miss Jessica, for all to see. Now you can position these guys any way you want. So you can have them shooting her or being kicked by her or whatever. She can kick this guy in the face right now. As far as her articulation goes. Starting with the head, you've got a little bit of left and right and up and down motion. All of this is inhibited by her hair in the front and the back. No big deal though. Her arms, there's a little bit of movement in the shoulder, but that's actually held back by her little, uh, those web wingies. Web wings, yeah, so she can fly. And the same with her elbows. So, yeah, her arms, even though it looks like there's a lot of movement to be had there, not so much. Nothing in the waist, no chest crunches or anything, but there's a good ball socket right here and her hips, so ooh, she could twist that leg all around. <laughs> and the knee, it feels like it's got that triple knee joint that Lady Lacey always likes in her figures. And in the ankles, it's like a joint there, but it really doesn't feel like there's much room for movement, if at all. So she doesn't have a lot of movement, but based on the stand, I'm guessing she's just a showpiece. Pretty much, yeah. I don't think she's something you really kind of want to play with too much. Speaking of the base piece, there's a set of stairs, a peg for either foot of hers to go into. There's a cauldron of fire. And then, like I said, you can position the guys any way you want to, depending on, I guess, whichever battle scene you want to go with. And none of the bad guys have any movement at all to No them. movement for the bad guys. We've got one guy who looks like he's been kicked in the face and he's kind of about to throw his gun one bad guy who is going to shoot her, and another one who just can't seem to get it out of the holster. <laughs> well, it is kind of fun that you have like this display set for her. So instead of just having the standard figure that, you know, you would display, however, you have this very action-oriented setup. So it's like if you're a fan of Spider-Woman, maybe you already have a singular figure, and now you've got uh, something a little more fun to kind of put on display. And then it, she does come with her venom shot that she can shoot out. So interesting stuff there. Fun little bits. One thing that I have always noticed, which is kind of funny with the Marvel Selects versus the Marvel Legends, which they're usually bigger sets and more expensive. 
there's to me always seems to be less detail and the figures themselves to me feel a little cheaper of course the marvel selects came before marvel legends did i i do enjoy them i don't have a whole lot of them this is my actual this one and spider gwen are my actual first full set i have picked up loose figures and have loose figures but this is my first full set so how do you feel about having such a large display piece i like it i love the ability to you know have a fun pose and just kind of have an action pose but it does kind of pose an issue of where am i going to put this <laughs> so it's not know. as easy as just squeezing her in exactly, on the shelf exactly exactly all right well let's move on to miss spider gwen in Spider-Man's world, Gwen Stacy was one of the ones he couldn't save. But in another world, the opposite is true. Bitten by a radioactive spider and granted incredible spider powers, Gwen Stacy is the Spider-Woman, and she protects the streets of New York while battling lizard men, lawyers, and the spider-hunting inheritors. Wanted by the NYPD in connection with the death of Peter Parker, but protected by her policeman father, Gwen forgets her spider troubles by playing drums at a rock band, the Mary Janes. First things first, that is quite a hefty bass there. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so he's very solid. And I would like to point out, he's kind of looking like an Art Deco Iron Giant. I know. She is pretty cool. She does come with a uh, hoodless head and the nice touch of being able to put her hood down when she's hoodless, or you got the classic Spider-Gwen hood. With that hood on, there's limited movement in the head, and with it off, I'm betting that the hair is probably going to get in the way about the same. The shoulders, they're a little stiff, but they do move, and they twist at the bicep. The elbows, another stiff point, but they've got that nice three joint movement there and the wrists they do spin around and they bend up and down now she's got a little bit of chest crunch movement she can move from just the chest and pivot back and forth a little and then right at the waist she has movement so kind of double torso movement which is interesting well She's very, you know, Spider-Gwen's very flexible and has to be able to crawl up walls, so. <laughs> she, of course, bends at the hips, and then she has those thigh movements, so she can bend the leg around whichever way she wants. Good knee movement right here. And the ankles, up and down. Doesn't look like they rotate, nothing in the calf, but this is going to be a figure that you're going to easily be able to put into many weird poses and positions like the way they draw all spider people in comics so there we go <laughs> <laughs> now this doesn't look as dynamic as a pose as what spider woman has well, maybe we can you know change that there is that better that is better i like that better. <laughs> <laughs> so and she does come with extra hands i am surprised that with all these extra hands that she comes with that she's not doesn't have the classic spider pose as much as you like Spider-Gwen, how do they do with this figure? I like this one a lot. Um, I like her hoodless face a little better than the hood that they gave her on this one. They've done something a little odd with, with the mask on this one. But other than that, I mean, I don't like some of the figures and drawings that they have done of Spider-Gwen where she basically has like two little balls for Chet for boobs and they're not natural looking and then it like really abbed her out. Yeah, this I one is that. very natural looking. It looks like what someone would look like wearing a spandex suit. All right. Well, some uh, some spider toys that, you know, maybe won't freak you out. No. This one, maybe a little with these three torso men. Yeah, I feel kind of bad for them. They lost their legs. They ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. Yes, I know that. <laughs> the Marvel Selects 
Mm, I think personally, I'm still more of a fan of the Marvel Legends. I am too, uh, a little more why, detail in those, yeah. more articulation. I think that's why I've never really picked up a whole lot of them or popped on any of them very much. Honestly, as much as I love Spider Gwen, the only reason I got these two was because it was basically buy one, get one free. There you go. So I got both of them for the price of one on sale. And otherwise, I probably wouldn't have because I'm just not as impressed with the selects. All right, well. Seems like we got them at a decent enough price to check them out. So nerdlings, please leave some comments down below what you think. Maybe you are on the other side of the fence and you like the Marvel Selects line a little more than Marvel Legends. Let us know if you do and let us know if uh, we're missing out. Maybe these aren't the best ones to go off of anyway. Be sure to give the video a like if you happen to like it. Make sure that you subscribe hit the notification bell, or some 1920s Iron Giant with Gwen Stacy's head will haunt your dreams. God, why does he look sad? He's already destroyed mankind. What else could he want? Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Go over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there, and it's not that dream haunting of merchandise. Go hit us up on the Retro Refresh, and if we like it, we nerd it. Not this guy, though. He doesn't know what he's doing. Guys, I panicked! I can't get my gun down the holster! Help! Help! You wanna know a fun fact? Because of her pheromones, it uh, makes men do whatever she wants and falls in love with her instantly. So she actually has... A scientist had uh, made her a perfume that neutralizes her pheromones just so that she can walk around and not have men falling at her feet. Weird. <laughs>